Okay, now for the uh, October 2019 International A-Level P1 paper. Um, question number one. You, you have a sector of a circle with center O and radius R. The angle AOB is 1.25 radians. The area of the sector is 15 centimeters squared. Uh, we need to, with that information, first of all, find the exact value of R. Now, the first thing we need to realize here is what it means when it says exact value of R. Okay, now this is something that you should have, um, it should give you a clue that the answer is not going to be um, a rational number. It's going to be a number in third form or in terms of pi, if it's something with pi in it. Okay, you won't get an answer which is a, a rational number. It's kind of like the, the type of questions in, in um, the GCSE course where they told you, for example, to solve a quadratic equation and they'll say, give your answer correct to three decimal places. Uh, you know it's not going to end up as a whole number or a fraction, which is rational. It's going to end up something with a square root in there, which will have to round. So similarly, when it says exact value of R, it's a clue for you that the answer is going to be irrational. Okay, so in this case, uh, we need to know the formulae for the area of sectors. And if the angle is given in radians, which it is, the area of a sector is a half times r squared times theta. So the exact value of r, we know that um, the area of this sector is 15. So we can say that 15, which is the area, is equal to a half times r squared, which we have to find, times 1.25. So when you calculate r, you can just rearrange this formula. You have 15 times 2 divided by 1.25 is equal to r squared okay and then simplifying that i mean this is like 5 over 4 so you're going to have 30 times this is 5 over 4 so that's 4 over 5 equals r squared so you end up with 6 times 4 is 24 so r squared is equal to 24 so r is equal to the square root of 24 okay now, you could leave your answer like this in this question, okay, because it doesn't say write your answer in the simplest form, but it's always best to write in your simplest form, meaning uh, if it's a in third form, you take out any perfect square factors. Okay, now in 24, you see there's a 4 times 6. 4 is a perfect square. So if you write this as r equals the square root of 4 times 6, which gives you 2 times root 6. So that is the radius of this um, sector, 2 root 6. They want you to express it in this form. They don't want you to express it rounded to any decimal places or rounded to the whole number. They want it in exact form. This is exact form, not rounded. That's what it means by exact form. Okay, and that's why it says find the exact value of r. Okay, so if you wrote the formula correctly, if you use the formula correctly, you would get one mark. But if you went on to round it and write it in some certain number of decimal places or whatever, you will definitely lose a mark for that. Then it says, part B, find the exact length of the perimeter of the sector. Now, the perimeter of a sector is given by these two radiuses, two radii, and the length of this arc. It's not just the length of the arc. The perimeter isn't just the length of the arc. The perimeter of a shape is the length of the outline which encloses the shape. So it's going to be L plus 2 times R. Okay, so you've got to, because there's two radiuses here, right? So we already found what R is. So first of all, also we're supposed to remember that the length of an arc, if the angle is given in radians, is given by R theta. Okay, so what we can say here is we've got R, which is we found as 2 root 6, times theta, which is 1.25. So for part B, the perimeter is L plus 2R. Okay, so the perimeter is L. Now, remember, this is R theta plus 2R. And we know the radius we found already is 2 root 6. So you have 2 times root 6 times 1.25, which is 5 over 4, plus 2 times R, which is 2 times 2 root 6. Right? Okay, so that gives us, well, the 2 cancels this 4 gives you 2 so you're left with 5 times root 6 over 2 plus 4 root 6 okay so if you make these the same denominator that's like 8 
over two, so you get 30, that would be, that would be like eight over two times root six. So you're left with 13 over two root six, and that's in centimeters. That's the perimeter of the shape, okay? So those are the answers for part A and B of question number one. And in this case, you have to write it in its simplest form. So if you left this as root 24, you would probably get the marks for part A for part B. If you left any perfect square factors under the square root, then you would definitely lose a mark in that case because it specifically mentions in its simplest form. Okay, although it's always best practice to write it in simplest form in the first place. All right, so that's the answer for question number one.